Si, you're right. Maybe we do just dance for 15 minutes. <laughs> Tell me the Are dancing. We? What's up, everybody? Another week of Comic Convos. Leo Rydell. And Axel Grave. Back here again for another week to talk about comics. This time, we're talking about Denver Comic Con, guys. Oh, goodness. Such a, good, such a good experience. I will admit, this year at Con, I was involved with the Con, so I had to dedicate a lot of time to that. So, unfortunately, it's... I didn't have as much time to explore as I wanted to. Because they, because they, okay, so they told me that I would get the whole day whenever I volunteer. So whenever I'm not, I didn't get the first half of Sunday. I didn't get access to that. So, <sighs> yep. It's tough. And I had to work the evening, and then I only got access to Oof. Sunday, really. And but, see, and we talked, yeah, we talked about it, and I've done a volunteering not at that Comic-Con. I don't think I volunteered at Denver, maybe the first year. But I've done volunteers at, like, Comic Fest and Star Fest and on Desucon and pretty invariably it's a big chunk of time out of your day for whatever it is it and, really and is you, man and the more you want to be there the more they expect you to volunteer mm -hmm. basically it's like ah oh, man but con was great another great year another fabulous year with mm. even more people this oh, time it was even so more guys like the over list. 100 right. thousand people uh i don't know about the thing but I'm i wonder if we, we can access it Let's see, 2017 attendance. Attendance. Let's let's see. Let's see I don't doing. think it's gonna. The numbers are in yet. 115,000 fans. A couple frustrations apparently though. Yeah, the lines were getting all. There was non-realistic looking guns banned at the last minute, and the lines were like pushed out. Yep, it was a lot of work for that. I will say. Yeah, uh, it was like. Phew. No, I haven't that, said that. There was still some problems. Yeah. I was stoked to see the live video, but it cut out. Service was crappy there, I guess. Hmm. I think I tried to do a live video. I'm sorry, I didn't get it good. <laughs> the it's showing pretty clearly on our um, end, guys. Let us know if there's if any guys, technical yeah, difficulties. Yeah, and uh, for those who don't know, we actually have an interview going uh, currently. Or not currently. We have an interview currently posted on the page with Scott Douglas Redding, who was generous enough to... Uh, very offer, generous guy. Yeah, very generous guy, actually. Got to talk to him, meet him. He's from Canada. I believe he's... Yeah, Susie. Long, he's from Canada. Yeah, Good guy, Canada. too. He is. He's a great guy. Uh, also, hi to everybody. Again, Cy Kennedy, Susan stuff. Marie. Everyone, yes. And we Tyler. To our Patre Patreon folks, thank you for your contributions. That's Susan Marie, Cy Kennedy, and Tyler Lockridge. Thank you guys so much because it yep. contributes so well to the cast. Yep. And thank you also for everyone else who's here every week. Izzy yeah, and it, Michael it, and... All kind of people. Every, all kinds of... All never A lot of people. Adam's Canada. been back a couple weeks. Thank you. Canada. Yeah, yeah, yep. So they were getting nice. the best. We know how much the thing is. And uh, he was generous enough to offer uh, me a position to help him at the con through uh, our mutual friend... Uh, Oh god, I'm dying on on here. My brain's broken. I've been working all day in the hot sun, guys. Uh, yeah. It's been a tough day. But one of our mutual friends, I don't even know if I should say her name out on the cast anyway cuz I don't know how. I don't like just, naming Just just a mutual friend will work. But we have, but through our mutual friend and she she offered me a great opportunity uh, to work with him. That's awesome. Steph. Uh, Steph. The one that you introduced me to? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's so, right on. Well, and I met mutual friends, too, between me and Scott. Not necessarily mm -hmm. between me and Leo, for those yeah. who don't understand. Uh, Basically, she got him in the con. Yeah, 100%. It was awesome. And Scott himself was a great guy to talk to. Big uh, big fan of a lot of stuff. Uh, and he was a great guy to talk to and chill with. I thought going in, it was going to be very similar to volunteering you know there but it was actually not because yeah, scott the artist yeah i got it through he actually wanted me to walk and i'm actually wearing his shirt right now the reading verse if you want to check him out he's at reading verse we'll tag him real quick in the comments if you guys want to check him out I yeah got it. at reading verse thanks scott yep thanks again uh i think that's it right there thanks again for the Opportunity, I guess. Yeah. To go with you to con and interview you. 
And like I said, we had an interview with him, which is on the page right now for anyone who wants to watch one of our videos that isn't live. So you can't, unfortunately, get comments from me or Scott on that. But you can get comments later by talking to us, like now. And uh, I was planning on stealing his friend. Oh, man, so cryptic. Stealing my friend. <laughs> my friend. Yeah, this but, guy uh, was a really cool dude. He allowed Axel in to, you know, do the interview. Yeah. And he was very just smooth and good going with it yeah and he, he got he actually a sold a lot of stuff he has a print some prints of uh, hercules 12 trials self-styled there you go that he's selling because he's doing a collection on that and a book later at some point don't know when he's also doing a web comic and check it out he sold out of those and he did a good sold out of his homemade pops of alpha flight and it was great That's to awesome man and it's i can't i don't want to like get up and turn around but there was actually a map of his booth on the con in the back, which was super smart. We got to do that for our shirts that yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. Got to absolutely. Uh, yep, there we go. Got the link the up as well. Get yeah. feel so free to visit. Yeah, his feel page free to visit. Like contribute. he has a bunch of great stuff. He does a bunch of great uh, stuff. His comic stuff. Fantastic. Uh, musicians. He had. I like his joke. He had Prince of Prince. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, it was <laughs> awesome. And then other ones like um, Kiss, and then you know, there's Cap Whoa, punching her. Oh, it's but, trash in my opinion, Susie. Oh, Transformers. Oh, you oh don't see yeah, Transformers yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. and, and no. a lot of people are not happy yet. A lot of people not. are really upset, man. I mean, you said your dad came back and said it was pretty good, but there have been a lot of people who came back Yeah, and said, I haven't seen trash. it yet, so... I haven't seen it, so it might be trash. Going to see it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, check it out. Let us know what you think. I gotta go see Spidey before I go yeah, see Transformers. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Spider-Man always all the way. takes precedence. Um, and so thank, once again, thanks to Scott for that. Like That was a great big part that allowed me to go to every day of Comic-Con, first of all. I didn't stay the whole day every day because it's a long day and there's a lot of people there, guys. <sighs> Plus, we're always so Lots busy. Of like people. We have video editing and recording and stuff to do. So like even to put up the video with Scott in time for yeah, con. we've I had already to got that. our you know projects going on as well I'll form my own opinion yeah you form your own and opinion, we're gonna have to figure out a way to next year we're definitely gonna be at comic-con guys we're already in the process oh, of planning well, yeah it we're gonna look they're not currently booking booths like they did last year at the end but we're looking we're gonna do that get our fees and licenses up probably get some shirts made and i think what we're gonna i don't we might have to pay for that stupid internet that or we have to get a mobile. It's clock. gonna have to be. We're gonna have to pay the seventy five, man. Oh man, I think I got. We gotta ask convention center and see. Yeah, if we can get see what we can get set up going. Because guys, the the service in the convention center is zero to none. Like and you might get a few text messages here and there in a good spot for me if you were lucky. Yeah, if you basically were lucky. downstairs had okay Wi Fi too, but not yeah, yeah, you could get some messages and stuff downstairs, but not but. up in the. Uh, exhibition hall, you could go. No, no, probably no, not in the you, panel rooms all, I mean, either. And it's just the structure of the room. I love them, by the way. I'm not hating. Out. I was sad I didn't like it. Oh, that's okay, Sai. Oh, I, okay. I, everyone yeah. has an opinion. It's okay. Scott, Scott was a was very good. awesome guy. Great talking to him about comics. Yeah, Izzy also went to con. I got nice, to meet him man. on Saturday. I forget what time. It was great talking to Izzy. Izzy is actually the reason I got some of the stuff I got at con because he told me mm. a couple people were there that I didn't know were there. What's up, Kevin? Hey, Kevin. Thanks for joining Dude, us. Izzy, Feel thanks free for to join uh, filling combo. people in, man. Yeah, That's awesome. And, uh, and he is. He's a great guy. Got to check his stuff out. I honestly want to get him to do something at some point because I like his take on body motion. And I'll definitely let you guys know what I think. He definitely yeah, lets sweet. us know. We always want to know. We always want to hear it. Uh, so check it out, man. Like, I get into Comic-Con, ready to hang out. I can't text a single person. Nobody. I couldn't no find you. We Even the day, so we found each other, and then the next day we you talked about it. Uh, well, Izzy, we just... Bumped into each other. Yep. Huh? He, well, and he no he found me. I never noticed anyone walking around. Cons Sup, for some guys? Reason. Tried to find you all at DCC, but couldn't seem to track y'all down. Sorry, we were yeah, all sorry. over the it was place. Just uh, I was actually at over. booth FO two with Redding a uh, decent amount of time, but I was wandering around promoting. So sorry. Next next year, next we year we're going to have, have a table. Food. Yeah, like, we I, will absolutely. Have one. We're, we're absolutely. We're pretty, we'll be determined. casting live there. We'll love you guys to come check us out. Come hang. You know, come grab some snacks. Oh yeah. We're gonna be hanging out. We, we're we're gonna do so much for that. It's gonna be so fun. Yeah. And then hopefully we can coordinate with other people who are going, get some interviews going, like we did this year, mm -hmm. which was we did okay this year, but next year we'll have next more year we'll have a lot and, more. Yeah, yeah, like a lot we'll of that was lot spur of the moment. Like those interviews were like, all right, I'm going to Comic Con. Who was all there? Millie Bobby Brown was there. Oh, Kevin man. Conroy, Batman, all the Justice League animated cast was there. Sean Schemmel. Yep, so uh, many. 
uh, what was it? Uh, Chris Sabin, I believe. Um, uh, is a guy. Is he? Is he remembers like all of them? Uh, Samurai Jack's voice. Oh, Phil Lamar. Uh, jo- yeah, Phil Lamar. He was uh, awesome. He was awesome. Uh, Weird Al Yankovic. I got to catch him doing a reading. Oh, nice. Awesome. Weird Al Yankovic was there. Yep. Weird Al. Mike Coulter. They got yeah. Finn, Finn Jones. Jones. So Iron Fist. A lot Iron of Iron people there were, were there. And, I mean, and I wish I could have talked to more, but you kind of have to pay to go talk to some. You guys people. should go down to Colorado. Yeah, you do. Colorado <laughs> Springs Comic Con. I would like to. Just gotta have the money and time. Well, actually, uh, we'll it's, try a, to it's get cheaper than Denver. It Comic-Con. is, but it's we'll more about the, time. Yeah, yeah, because we gotta drive down to Comic Con. Close. Close. What's up, Anthony? The, now that the other highways does good, yeah. Thanks for joining, uh, Anthony Ham- Hammond. We uh, really appreciate it. Yeah. Feel free to chime in and tell us what you think, and tell us about your con. It doesn't have to be about our con. We're yeah, just Izzy the Hat made me track him down, dude. All right, so like, ah. that's, you're the second person who said that, and actually, so we don't have it up, and it. I don't think it's gonna go up for the public. Uh, we have a video of a recording with another uh, booth that was at the. Uh, con that I'd met at Starfest previously. Unfortunately, this one will be Patreon only because um, the my audio is very very hard to hear, and so yeah. it doesn't. It's not very. Con is just loud, guys. Uh, the other reason is on. we're going to, so Saturday so, so, and go see so, Bill for Samurai Jack. I know, but got to see him. I got to hear a reading. I was like, oh my god, Phil Lamar right now, right in front of me. Yeah, there and there were so many. They read, great. dude. They got together and read an episode. I know, I know. Amazing. Got to see like couple minutes of that before I did the Guinness World Record thing. I was like, oh, holy man, crap. I think that but I yeah. was almost crying. Like, literally seeing all the actors right there, like, doing the voices. I'm like, man, these guys have some awesome voices. I don't pay to talk to them here. I just talk to them. Screw $60 to have a conversation. Yeah, I'd like to, but they have uh, they have bouncers. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, they're the blocked front. off the, the whole we time. Were doing, all right, so it's even worse than that. You can't even, like, sit in the back and take pictures because me and Leo were videoing Leo, not even them. No, I was videoing running Leo around in that area, yeah, and they're you, like, you can't. You're not allowed video. to video in this area. No photos, no video. They didn't even they didn't even track us down for the longest. Like we were there, oh we guys, were there like five, five minutes, minutes at least. We got so much video. It was great of uh, Leo and his Godzilla costume. Yeah, I was like great. running through, and then um, maybe like five minutes in, I had got like two or three photos. Oh yeah, and, like, easy. everything and, and everything. with a bunch of people. Wow, harsh. Yeah, they're pretty harsh, but it's a pretty big con. And it's there's a, a lot. It's the biggest one in Colorado. Yep. and it's in the top five in the nation. By the way, it is number yeah, five. It is. Who knows after this con? Though, yeah, like, they, they, they look like they had a little dash. You don't have to pay for a conversation. I've seen some people talk to Son for Gogo without paying for anything. You can. You get can in sneak there. in a couple of. But, but, it, but it's kind of like one of those miracle moments. Like it also depends on. It also them. depends mostly on the artist yeah, more than very on you. True. If they're comfortable with that and not like swamped or whatever, then they're usually okay. Like I've gotten. Uh, Lou pictures. Was not uh, to who on earth? I can never remember the actor's name. He plays Tilk on Star Trek, and I have I got a great picture with him outside of the con. Yeah, you showed me. <laughs> like I was like fourteen or fifteen, and I got to smoke with him and hang out. And I didn't. Yeah, it's let's see, played by Christopher Judge. Christopher Judge. Yep. Yeah, you showed me the picture. You, and so it, you it was proof. an awesome picture. And so a lot of them are nice and cool guys, and you can. It's mostly about if you can get in there, past their people, and then also... And if they want to come out, you know, yeah, if they want to be a verbal, part of the They'll be pretty verbal about yeah, it, And they too. will. They'll say, I want to walk around. 115K this yep, year. We yep, we actually did. checked that out before. Uh, and so, yeah, you don't have to pay for a conversation, year, technically, but you if you go up there, it's kind of standard uh, that you get a picture and autograph to to, or a, what was that you don't have name? to though at all like you can go up there and do that i got to I actually got to have a conversation with vic manana really at, uh it was 2014 non desucon nice and i was a naruto ninja and i bumped into him and got to talk to him for a little bit he was like yeah you know man i, I wouldn't mind being on, Mar- on naruto that would have been an awesome one to voice that would have been pretty cool like, okay yeah, Denver Comic-Con is Sasuke the character biggest comic con supposedly i could see that but i'm not 100 percent sure that's a decent it's amount of five uh when i was in the volunteer meeting they actually did lay out some numbers they're number five in the nation behind uh Obviously, um, the New York Comic Con and San, San Diego. Diego. San Diego being the top. Probably be another one, what, what Milwaukee? Milwaukee. Or... Uh, no. There's a couple other ones ahead of them, but, but yeah, either way, there's, there's some really big ones. Dublin Con in August, I might go by myself, though. I'd have some people go and check it out and let me know if you think. S- we'll check it out for you. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have to look, look at into some it. stuff. Yeah, uh, maybe there, we can get an interview with someone. Who knows? 
like a, over the over Skype or maybe Something. you could even speaking of which we are hopefully not next week and maybe not even the week after that we have to discuss it with them and message them on Facebook together as well as just kind of get the logistics worked out but we're trying to do an interview with the people we had met well I had met at Starfest and then again this year at Comic Con uh, and it's Gover Governor Songin and <laughs> Governor Songin was awesome Sh man. and Shanna Mora and uh they do, Governor does gaming videos, streams, etc., and then Shanna does artwork. And we've actually shown some art on her thing before from the Starfest cast. Uh, and I have some more to share. We'll show that later. But hopefully, we, we did an interview, and like I said, that'll be available for our patrons only, unfortunately, because my audio is terrible in that and one. She definitely deserves to work for DC oh, or Marvel. Yeah, man. and she's her, hopefully looking this next year, according to her. I, well, hopefully, for the Patreon patrons who check it out. Five isn't too bad. No, five is pretty good, in my opinion. I mean, if you're the top five in anything, you're pretty good. What's our Facebook page? Uh, uh, actually, I can look right on the back of this, and I have a card in here. Oh, God, if I can get it out. Uh, get out. No, Definitely, it's uh, share some of her stuff, guys, so you guys can be informed as well. So, oh, man. Just read me the how it spells. Well, she's on oh. SM Designs, but her thing is behind that, which is going to be... It's a good thing I've done this before. Readjust here. Make sure we're all good, still live here. Oh, make yeah. sure everything's good, y'all. This is terrible, but I gotta do it for the cast. I should have more, but I didn't bring them because I'm a fool. And so it's. Oh God, where is it? I swear. It... Oh no, did she get new ones that have it then? I well, swear I could she probably had... search her name. Yeah, shall. Oh. SEM Designs. Yeah, try it for that one, but she had newer prints with the... Uh, or newer cards with the Facebook page. Axel's hat is great. It's awesome, isn't it? Thank you, and actually, they found me with this hat, too, because I wore it Spotted at the Spotted you out, man. So I think I might wear this from now on. I like this hat. I mean, it's, it's an awesome hat, bro. It's a pretty awesome hat. They said they haven't seen anything like it either, which is I've great. I've seen a lot of Ash Ketchums and Pikachus this year, too. Dude, there were so many Lynx, a lot Ash Ketchums. Lynx, Ketchums. Nintendo's coming back. The Beast Boys and, John and uh, Ravens threw me for a loop. There were so yeah, many of all lot. ages. We thought all it was sizes. Teen Titans Go, you know? I mean, that would be the only logical thing it's coming from. I mean, what are people... Reading it's, Teen Titans comics, I mean... Mm. Even so, there wouldn't be those iterations a lot of the times that I'm seeing are very, very much... Yeah. Yeah, and thank you so much again, Shanna, for the thing. Actually, we'll give her a, a shout-out real quick. We got this that we showed before. This is my, the print I got from her. Such a good run. one. This Such is a good one. so beautiful. And it's the Floppy Ear Brigade. You've probably seen it around, but this, she's actually... The Which is crazy, because i actually seen... I think I've seen that on the internet. Yeah, I swear I've seen it before, like, on shirts and stuff. And so we'll get a nice shot of it there, guys. And you can see it's Pikachu and Toothless and Stitch all in uh, jammies of each other and stuff. <laughs> Hanging out. Hanging out, being That being was rascal. such a good movie. Oh, man. it's so good. Oh, How to Train Your Dragon good. and Pokemon and Lilo and Stitch. Oh, so that awesome. makes that an amazing photo. Thank you, Shanna. Yep. It's amazing. Yeah, and isn't it? Hopefully, me and Governor Song can get together and do some stuff. I need to get my stuff up on quality Spot part of the stuff. Spotted a few stuff, Gwen so. pools. Yeah, oh, I Gwen seen that pools. too. Uh, there were Gwen pools. There were uh, there was a lot spider, of spider Gwens. Gwens. A lot, lot of, of spider them. Gwens. <laughs> Silk. A lot of silk. Yeah, which you know, I'm surprised. Which is like, where are surprising? These Spider Verse characters are just Thank getting you very for popular. The video. Thanks, but everyone. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Yep, spotted a few Gwen pools. Uh, we talked. We talk about it. And we'll talk about it. There's also going to be a special episode coming out this Sunday from Comic Con. We cast it from the convention center, guys. So yeah, guys. I mean, we it cast so it from there, and it was awesome to see some of the characters in the back. You'll get to see some of the people walking by. I'm sure some people even posed in the back. Hey! Hey! We'll, thank we'll you! We'll hopefully message you uh, right after this about later maybe doing the interview. Thanks so much, Shauna. Thank you for again for the thing. by the way. Thank you oh, so much. God. And the art piece we, is amazing. Do, do, we have the the, do we have the lantern bookmarks? Ah, we don't know where they are, down, but she does yeah. a set of lantern bookmarks and a bunch of others. Amazing. Everything she does is amazing, guys. you got to check her out. Fantastic. Uh... In addition to that, uh, hopefully I'll do some stuff with Governor Song right, later. Guys, I'm out of here. Can't stay tonight. Have a great night. You too. Thanks for Spider coming Spider-Man slash woman characters are the easiest to cosplay as. 
I guess. I don't know. I feel like there's a, a lot of these. You gotta be a really good I physique. I mean, you don't have to. Those. You, you, you saw an awesome, awesome Gwenum. Oh, be awesome dude, Adrian do you have a picture of that Gwenum, Izzy? I really would love to see that. Sounds, Sounds awesome. awesome. Gov's watching too, by the way. Thanks. Hey, thank you. Yep. And uh, hopefully we'll do a lot of stuff in the future. I really like it. Uh, you got to check that out too. So Governor Song and what he what he's doing right now is the Gung Ho Network, and he's also doing extensions of that. But basically, it it's now. a uh, community on YouTube uh, where he is getting a lot of gaming streams as well as other stuff like time lapses of Shauna's art, and oh, just that's building awesome. a video community where we the, everyone can post and watch each other's videos and build each other up. And I I think it's amazing. I'm definitely gonna have to work with him and submit some stuff to him. Uh, I, I wanted to get my stuff a little higher par so I could get on, a little more on par with yeah, his videos because he has very professional videos oh, and I want to get my editing good, man. Uh, a little closer to his level before I submit some stuff mm, to him. There's some stickiness there. A little bit of stickiness, but that's all right. And uh, yeah, the, it it's really great to meet people at cons who are so great, like so great Shanna and Governor and Scott. And, and there were tons of people we met in costume who were amazing. We yeah, got to, talk we to, got to see some uh, John Stewart's even. Oh, like, wow. That was so that was great. Like, nice John Stewart, man. Dude, the, the, like, the Blue Lantern. Yeah, the Blue oh, Lantern. The, you seen saw a white, white Lantern, which Oh, my great. goodness. Uh, I'm I, too fat to cosplay, so once I slim down, shape up, I might go dressed up next year. See, and you mm, don't got to think be, like that. Like, yeah, cosplay, like, and that's not about the body man it's about the cosplay about right you can you be are. a great so for example if it was about race there was a black panther this year that was my favorite and he had the whole cl you i don't know if you saw me had like i seen him and he he was what asian or white I, I, I never got to see him i knew he, i knew i'd make assumption I, i'd seen him with his helmet off yeah because it was so a really i never asked cosplay. him so he could be but you know that doesn't take away from his thing, and when he when he posed, when he did like the, he was posing like and that. Pepper. Really good Darth Vader that you saw. Like, did you see the one? I think I showed you the. Oh, there were. It's yeah. a black dude, which is awesome. It's a black guy, in which there. is like, even awesome wow. because of who voices Vader. Right. <laughs> like, nice, sweet homage. But never, never believe you're too fat to cosplay. Never. And, never, and if man. you want to, and if you want to be super realistic, like that's the reason I don't play Beast Boy. But it's not so much that I don't play him because I. That, but, but because I want to do a super realistic you cosplay. You do want to do a shape. realistic version, and so I understand. If, if that's the case, you can also do cosplays that f do fit your body type. There's tons. Oh, there was plenty. a There was a, who was it? It was something I mean, Baymax. And anything, we, we, Baymax. No, we yeah. ran into it. It was something Baymax. What was it? It was Dude, like a I've seen variation. like a big, I could seen a couple of Big Hero 6 robots. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I've seen all kinds of stuff. Tons and tons of stuff. And so, yeah, I try to tell people don't feel that way because the cosplay community is so open. Yeah, there was a oh. Baymax. <laughs> I, even I saw did the, that four I even times. saw the red Baymax. Uh, really? Yeah, I saw the red suit Baymax. I was like, wow, yeah. it looked Well, like I said, so there realistic. was a, it was a high, I swear we walked up to it, it was like a hybrid Baymax, and like, I am your healthcare professional. Oh, it was a Mercy Baymax. Yes, 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 that yes. That was the one. The red armor. So, met an awesome, awesome comic writer, writer from Fort Collins, bought his book, it's called House of Fear. I really recommend giving a look. It's his takes on Goosebumps. Oh, and wow. he and Izzy was telling me about this. This is the choose your own ending kind of take. Seriously? Yes, which is so wow, awesome. Wow, that's awesome. You don't have to paste his name in. Is yeah, he? please let Definitely us know check like, him out. so we can get his things. That's why I try to get cards from people now. And yeah, get all right. You try to scoop something up. I just oh, It's even so difficult, though, sometimes. Like, la like when I went to Starfest, I did that, and I hit every one because I had even more time at Starfest. Good, man. But That's I just, awesome. there was no time to hit it every time. I think we even got that print, which I think we, did we already sent out that print, yep. right? The Wait, by Frank Sierra, I believe his name was. Mm -hmm. Which, either way, he was Hurt a great artist. me to send well, that one off. <laughs> I know, it was such a beautiful print. It was just a, a line print, and it was still so amazing. So beautiful. Uh, you can check it out. I think it's on our Guardians of the Galaxy one, actually, even. Because we remember we did it before that, and the Guardians came out, and then we yeah, still had it Yeah, I think we might have uh, put it up somewhere. I mean, but it's, it's definitely it around. It's amazing. We try to put out pictures of the prizes and stuff. Yeah, guys, my con experience this year was kind of limited. I did get to get to some of the panels, um, especially awesome. for a little bit of the live reading of the Justice League coming back together. That's Fantastic, so guys. I mean, you got to witness that talent right up front. Like, Phil Lamar is such a talented dude. He can do so many different voices. That's awesome. And others, too. Uh, Shannon Moore just said, Myself sorry. Myself and Governor are going to cosplay as Rose and Greg from Steven Universe. Hashtag yes. Cosplay. Yes. And yes. I love that show See? for that. For yeah. being so accepting of not only body type, but sexuality. 
uh, gender Everything. identity, mm -hmm. uh, all kinds it's of stuff. It's very, very open, man. Right, and and in addition, the story is amazing. Like my, I, I catch as much as I can. I'm not an avid follower, but yeah, my same. cousin loves it. Like watches it every week. Oh, nice. And, yeah. See, I get to kind of catch it when I can. You exactly. Know? It's, like it's, it's very good, tough. Though. It's very tough to catch everything. All it time. is. What's Hi, up, Julian? Julian? Thanks, Thanks for, for coming, coming out, in. man. Thank you for meeting with me this Wednesday. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to following up with you. Man, right, there's just see. so much going on. Um, oh, I want to say then uh, I want to say thanks to Izzy for letting me know that there was a one specific. I get to show off one of my buys. Uh, that box, man. Oh, that box, yes. But that's this is the one I want to show off. Yeah, the one I'm jealous of. Oh, I'm so and so. Izzy, let me know that Frank Cho. Mm -hmm. I want to. So jelly. I wanted to go to the panels this year, but had no time. Same because I was walking around promoting see, the Redverse. that's what I had. That's what I was, like, stationed at. I was yep. stationed at nice. different panels, so. But uh, I got this thanks to Izzy. It is uh, signed by Frank Cho, who ended up being there at the con this so year. So jealous. And uh, it's the Totally Awesome Hulk number one first edition variant cover, which signed. It looks so sexy. It's my first fancy, fancy. Oh, uh, uh, man. Thanks, I, Axel. I, what, Thank hey, you. Uh, th did you just wow. see that? Who just saw that? I just got a sign. I totally think I just awesome got Hulk rolled. number one. Uh, Thank you, man. That's, uh, that's right, We're going to move you. on, but we'll talk about <laughs> this later. <laughs> But no, it was so awesome, and thank you, Izzy, for letting me know he was there, because I really loved this run on the Hulk and the new take with Amadeus Cho. And that's good to hear. Like, that's a lot really of people aren't happy with it, but it's most, they're most, Cause that's the biggest reason hear. is people it's because like, it's not mm, Bruce Banner. Yeah. And it's like, Bruce Banner, there's been several times in the past where Bruce Banner was not the Hulk. Lots of times. Oh, yeah. There was that time, there was a period of time where Rick Jones was the Hulk. There was the period of time... Where I think it, it was either Thunderbolt or Betty Ross was the Hulk. Uh, there was the time where he split from Bruce Banner and oh, became his yeah, own became identity. Own character. That like, was pretty sick. Like now there's so many times and so many. Like don't get me wrong, he's always been the original Hulk, always will be. But like without him, I want I'm a, I want Amadeus Cho to be the Hulk. I he's just, always to wanted, be honest. Any uh, character that can embody the Hulk as, amazingly to me is a character that I want to be the Hulk. I'm not really that concerned with it being Bruce Brand Banner. I never really have, like, to be honest, I've never had that much of an interest in Banner in the first place. I felt like um, Banner was kind of stale. He's, he's kind of a placeholder for me. Like, in my mind, I'm like, the Hulk is what I want to see. <laughs> I don't really care about Banner that much. I totally understand, man. Like, you gotta love the Hulk, and Banner is like the limiter of the Hulk. He so you is. can't love so him just as like, much. Nah, he's like that wall. He wants to like, limit the Hulk. He's abilities. holding the Hulk and... back all the time he'll hold him back I mean, the angrier he gets the more powerful man it's like Definitely. just get more angry bro no i just want to stay down yep. no, okay well well then fine fine and, then, and i think that's a big reason that people don't like amadeus as the hulk is because of the he is a big focus as opposed to the hulk like amadeus show oh, is a nice focus of the refreshing thing. and he'd like the other thing I think they don't like is that he seems to effortlessly switch back and forth between. Oh the man, States he Bridge. got to meet Aaron Cooter. Oh yeah, he said he did. That's He's doing awesome. art for the Guardians. Yeah, Izzy always like makes out with the best at con. He like gets in and finds the people that you can talk wow, to. Wow, he and, like, knows how to. Oh yeah, how like work I said, when rounds. I when I need to go to someone for comic related stuff, I go to Izzy. Like, there's not too many people. Man, next year, Izzy, we're going to have to have you come with us, man. I, yeah, I'd love to have through. you as our third on the, on the cast. Because we got to have people to cycle out on the table and mm -hmm. cycle out on, yeah, to go around. Yeah, yeah. Because we want to hit the con, too. Like, we won't be there all day. At the, maybe one day. Around. Maybe, like, maybe like spe we'll put specific times out. Yeah, That would be cool to make a schedule where we'll definitely be at the table. And then we'll be definitely walking around. Definitely. Oh, man, that's awesome that I got to meet him. I love the Guardians comics. Uh, the, the new ones, all I really like most of them. There's a couple of them that are a little... But most of them are really great. Like, yeah, you know, I, I had that feeling too, but I just kind of pushed it aside for how good they were. Yeah, and actually I got into the conversation about Scott with the only problem being that the, the huge character switches since the 2008 run. Huge man, the, like the really whole Kitty Pride thing. Kitty Pride, Star Lord's Regon. Yeah. Dra the only one who stayed the same basically was Drax, Drax. and even then they <laughs> kind of changed his story up a lot. Like, 
A lot, a from, lot. Especially from his origin? Oh, man. Definitely. A lot. And so... Went back and read some wow, of those man. old Guardians you know, comics. I'm like, wow. He, so he just rocks Thanos. Oh, yeah. They're fighting, busting up planets. Sheesh, man. And like, they're just... The moons and stuff. I remember that they, like, he's, destroy he'd one been, of the moons. He's of nerfed. He's been nerfed. Super heavy nerfs. Heavily Which nerfed. He needed to be. He was too strong. Like, I mean... Yeah, yeah. He's he so powerful. Obese. It made it really hard for him to function in the team. He's just messing planets up with Thanos. It's the like, same reason Gamora is not like, currently Dude. in the team. Like she's just too powerful oh, as a cosmic guardian yeah. or whatever. And the, and the Guardians of the Galaxy are meant to be characters that are all together able to stop these threats, not single handedly. Right. Know? Same with most teams. Like, yeah. They're if supposed any to be one individual out. character was too strong, set, or like wasn't countered in some way, it wouldn't be interesting. Like to exactly. make compelling storylines is really. It's uh, like, you know, edge. Cap alone can't defeat Thanos, but all of these Avengers that are going to come together will try to stop Thanos. We'll try and yeah. fail, and then you'll have to bring <laughs> in the like, Guardians, we'll and then we'll bring in the X-Men, and then yep, we got them. It's like, man, oh, I Wouldn't love that, that be fun. awesome, though, if they just surprise yeah. us and, like, They're never going to do it, though. They don't love up. us no, enough. No, they don't no. love us. So, with all, the, weird. <laughs> <laughs> with all the talk of our comic cons... Like, tell us about what your experience at con was, or your most recent con. Like, we'd or love to hear up, what guys. you love. Like, yeah, what what's are your next up? con? What's your next con you're going to go to that you know? If anyone will be interested, by the way, you're more than welcome to, you know, submit some video. Um, you know, definitely call us at con. Tell us about Pictures, it. Pictures, all that stuff. You we know, take message, we love, pictures. We, we love, love all that. We'll, we'll try to get through it and put it up on the page. Yeah, or put yeah, it in video. definitely message us, guys. You know, send us some stuff. We'll yep. put it up on the page. And then, uh, you know, we as you've seen, uh, any, and I want to give this a shout out because most people don't know. They might think we're reposting this or that or whatever, appropriating. But the, all the comic facts that we put out every day are the memes and quotes and stuff for self made from comics we read. And uh, the, the, because of that, I'm limited a lot on what I can get to. So if you guys have any ideas or facts or blah, blah, oh, blah that man, you, wanna you want to see made into anything me, you want us to share, or like even tell. just like a series or, or a book or, or a run issue, etc., that you think would make good content, let us know and we'll check it out and try to make something from it. Like, we love making new stuff. Especially a new comic recommendation, please hit us with that. Yes, we like, like anything that you like. This is an awesome, obscure comic, independent. I love uh, I Izzy, love asking Izzy, Izzy for new stuff. Yes, Izzy. Never been to a con, definitely on the to-do list. Gotta oh, go, man, Julian. It's so amazing. amazing. It's, a, it's a lifetime experience that you have to It have. really is. I mean, I can go to con every year. And got enjoy. an got Airbnb, Airbnb for DCC this year and did all three days. Wow, it was good. I do like similar good for Starfest. I do. Awesome. I stay at a hotel and stay near the con, yeah, so I don't have to. Yeah, well. Where is Starfest? Uh, it's usually out by the Marriott uh, in the DTC. Okay. Yeah, so. yeah, might as well. Stay on out there, mm -hmm. especially because of what time that the con starts. Like, definitely eight. gonna figure out how to go about it as I'm clueless, but I'll check it out tomorrow. It's not too bad. It, you usually buy your ticket, you show up. Well, you you want to set aside an amount of money before you mm -hmm. go. That you're obviously gonna go the over anyway. floor <laughs> like, is So attractive. Yeah, you're gonna see stuff. It's like, oh, that's my fandom. And oh, I've never that. seen that before. Yeah, like, 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 there's so much Futurama stuff I should have picked up, but I was just like. I was yeah, so, there's so much I was, I, stuff right, this I was year so salty. Removal. I was so, so mad salty about it, but they actually kept four seasons. They did, and I was respectful that they at least kept a part of the series. But they I'm did like, keep the guys. worst four seasons, probably. Yeah, but exactly. They took well, away the problem some is of the best seasons. The they also took the movies, which yep. were awesome. I got enough. one last view of them too. I'm so I know. Glad. I went I through. Like, yeah, I'm I went through all of it. Through them, man. Dude, I, and the thing is, I've seen him so many times that it's like, it's like but I had to do it. Still. Yeah, like, there was no choice. Because you know, you'll you'll get stuck and you'll be like, "Dang, this is longer than a usual feature." Oh, I'm, I'm on season six. Certainly, jeez, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, like what? Well, what, season what, six. Where'd the time go? Right. <laughs> Man, but Futurama, there were some benders, fries, there was all kinds Lila's, of characters. Lila's. We saw all kinds. Of, I didn't see any professors, which I thought was interesting, yeah, but he's... That would have been cool. I seen a Master Roshi, like a legit old yeah, guy, as Master Roshi with awesome. his beard died. I, I was like, that, guy. that is awesome. There was a lot of good stuff there that like you don't get to see. Like I saw, We were talking about it uh, on our thing, the special cast. Uh, Quentin Queer. I finally found a Quentin Queer who's Kid Omega from the X-Men. And you never, never see him. that character. Never. never. I've never seen him still. And it's because he awesome has a pink mohawk. Like, and you can't, no one can wear that anywhere else. You already either have to have a mohawk or are willing to wear the style. So he had the mohawk and then you and have everything? to be willing to, oh, the pink mohawk. All of them. Every two or three of them wow. had a pink mohawk. They had the over jacket. 
uh, usually a graphic a white one. tee. Oh my god! Uh, I think I got pictures oh, of man. some of them. Let me see. Please I got, pull I them up, man, because I have I didn't see any of the kid omegas. Dude, I was so happy. I don't know if I got pictures. I really hope I did. Because these are in the best thing about those characters are these are the ones you rarely see. And these are the ones that I think generally people go see, like, above what? and beyond for those. Oh, yeah. I think it's picture time. I'm definitely going through. And then the thing is, guys, I only took pictures on, like, Friday. Like, I just could not Saturday. I was so busy talking. And a lot of the people moving, are busy, too. Walking. Yeah, like, you just can't. It's like, hey, they're can you stop down. for a picture? Like, I can't even ask some of them because they're in the middle of doing stuff. Yep, and it's like, I cannot. Something. No Nova cosplays either. I thought I saw a Nova. I didn't see a Nova, man. I thought I saw I one. I would have loved to see a Nova cosplay. I would love to I see. I would picture, love to see some more guardians. I think there a lot. There were not a lot of guardians. Which not I a found lot. Surprising. Which I was like, Ooh. oh, that did so well this year. You think you see some Star Lords? Oh yeah, you really wish you would. Maybe a Groot, like a cool Groot cosplay. That'd be awesome. All right, let's see if I can. I know I have to find some great the first stuff. guardians. Oh no, that's what it was. Flash Baymax. Yep. Oh, Flash it was. It was a Flash Baymax. one. Yeah, that's. I caught that one too. That was great. Then we had the emoticons. Let's see what I'm just gonna look for. Is that one was great? That, with you and that Vader. Vader is the black guy. That's awesome. Oh, they, these are all your stuff. Tracked him down the second day again. I'm like, what's nice. up? Nice. I love that one with you and the other. Uh, the Colorado Rapids mascot. Got, oh wait, these are still. Do 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 do. do. Black Canary. Saw Groot. Really? I have a Jinx. Oh, there were several Groots. I didn't really see a Groot. big Groots didn't too. See a Groot. I've seen him. I saw one. He was from Starfest and came over. But I got a Jinx, female Star Lord, for, or the Jinx from League of Legends. Nice. I don't know what I was taking video for there. I'm gonna ignore that. A Le fly and a Leela. Fry and Leela had to. Yep, I got a bend. Oh my god, I got a Spider Man with a Spider Man bag with a Spider Man fucking keychain. It's and like when holding a Gwyn. Oh yeah, it's so great. Let's see, can, will it work? That's the question. Will the video quality go through? It will. Spider-Man on Spider-Man oh, on Spider-Man, yes. guys. It was insane. What's up, Lake? Saw Groot. Hey, see, thanks man. for coming in. Talking about Denver Comic Con here. Oh, wait, what I we saw. There's the better picture. I seen that guy. That actually. was awesome, right? Yeah. Oh man. Super Saiyan Three Goku. Goku. Oh, that's that's a picture of something else. Oh, Don't man. worry about those. Uh, <laughs> My oh, phone's right there. Bla uh, Dark Mage from original what? Final Fantasy. Hold on, dude. I. S is or that the, the same uh, guy I seen last year? It might be. I think I got a picture of this guy last year. Actually, I did. He is up on my page. That's awesome! Holy crap, dude. That, I I'm was so, so glad happy. he did that again. I did definitely. Oh, Friday, so Master right Shake. That's awesome. I what? Love that. Was there any more of them? I don't think she had a no Frylock and he wasn't <sighs> there. He was in the bathroom or something, and I was like, I can't wait. I'm in right, the middle of something. Gotta. My phone's dying. Oh, man. And Ash. Sweet. I'm just looking. All right, let's see if I can find Pikachu. Reverse Flash. Just that, all the oh, costumes. That's a really good thought, man. Oh, man. Have you read the new Flash Holy yet? Crap. About the, why he's yellow? Please oh, don't. you got to read it. <laughs> Meat is murder. That's oh, Azerath, Metreon, Zoo. Dude, show them that one. That that's so, so we, There were so many of these. Look at this. And so Raven and a Beast Boy. And his shirt Legit. says, Me is murder, her says Azeroth. And Metreon's they're even the both. same height, just like in the yes. show. It's so crazy good, What's dude. up, Felicia? Thanks for Look coming Look at this by. one. This one's even better because it's out of character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Chat. Yeah, they're like the same height and everything. Just That's posted perfect. some of the DCC guests. In the group, take a look. Oh, we'll have to do it right everything. Oh, the Dublin Comic Con. Oh, yeah. nice. French Toast Boys. Hey, or even take a look at the Facebook for Dublin <laughs> I love Con. Some nice. French toast. The Naruto group was awesome. They entered the oh, contest, had an out. awesome They've routine. The... That would have been great. I wish I could have stayed for the routine. Nice. We've got uh, John Wesley Ship. That's the guy that plays uh, Flash's dad. Yep, and Jay Garrick. Yep, Philip Simon. I've seen him in something, but I don't remember. I don't remember Chris? What is that? Unfortunately, I can't see. We'd have to go to the double Comic Con yeah. thing. Oh, here's a few more. Okay, Billy West, which sweet. is great. Billy West voices everybody. Every so even just to meet that guy, <laughs> and the cool. Everyone. And here's the cooler thing: when you meet these people at smaller cons, much more likely to much talk more to intimate. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah much awesome. more likely to walk around. Gates McFadden. Ooh. Uh, Steven David Lloyd, nice. Eric Larson, Lightning Ooh, Michael Strike. Rooker. 
Oh, so sweet. You got he's Yonder. been around, man. He's yeah, actually he's at Colorado over. Springs, too. Yeah, he's everywhere. You can check that out. Go meet Yondu, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, Michael Rooker. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Like, he seems like he seems he'd be a pretty chill dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, That's so crazy. All right, let me see if I can find that one I was talking about, though. Got to stop up. It's man, gotta these be... are some good guests at Dublin, oh, though. Oh, man, there are so Ooh, much. Good ones, man. Look at this. I forgot about this. Oh, I had a male and female uh, junk Shut rat from one. Overwatch. And one had the peg leg. I really, we're gonna, I'm really. i going to share a lot rats. of these on the Comic Convos page later. He played the original Flash in the old Flash show. Really? Yeah, I did. didn't know that. Yes, he did. Jay I Garrick. did not know that. That's awesome, yep. though. That's a and great he was a big throwback. Dude. <laughs> he was a bigger... Like, he was a, you know, oh, nice. Buff dude. Nice. I love that Vegan. one. Yo. The black one. I actually think I talked to that guy for a second. Was that's like, oh, sweet. man, that's a great Negan, bro. Him. Tell me I got it. Yeah, him. any race can be any character. It's not a lot of people, but not bad for a small Irish con. That's uh, still I mean, nice, that's a man. good. That's a good. You, you got know, some nice group people. Of people. Well, like I don't I said, mind going to smaller cons oh, because man, then you do it. have more opportunity to talk to those people. Like imagine, you know, you get to I talk to the guy who played Jay Garrick and how stuff. How did I not take like, a that's picture? That's awesome. And Billy West. Like, of all people, you get to talk to Dude, Billy, Billy West. Dude, Billy West voices... I'd love to b talk to Billy West. If I could hear Billy West talk in the voice of Fry <laughs> in person... Oh, man. And I'd just, be like, can you record this for me real quick? Just like, hi, this is Fry speaking. Hi, this is Fry speaking. This you know what I mean? Something like... Oh, <laughs> uh, the live reading with them was awesome, Oh, it too. was. I checked that one out. I loved it. So great. I'm so glad it's out, too, because now you can go watch it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like... Yep, oh. it's a published video. You can check it out. So beautiful. Hey, Sai, did you watch Watchmen yet? Check it out, man. Check it out. Really good. You know what? Really I good. just heard that the originally had designed Watchmen to be using actual DC characters. Really? But then they didn't like it because they killed so many people off. Who were they using? The Question, uh, Blue Beetle. What? And Blue Beetle? Blue Beetle as... Original. As... Uh, uh, yeah, Marriott's no, right. at Korg. Wow. Because think of the connection for the underground yes, lair. man. And then uh, for the third, Captain Adam. What? Yeah, for man, that's the only one who can fit. They they Ray talked Palmer? about even or no, the uh, sorry, uh, Captain Adam. Yeah, not no, Captain Adam. Adam, not the Adam. Yeah, right? not okay. the Adam, Captain. Sorry, Adam. excuse me. I thought you no, said no, no. The and Adam. I think they said that they, he had toyed around with Superman, but that Captain Adams could was the only one who could do all the Those reality things, stuff. Yeah, yeah and it's not um, yet, man. Been on a lot of shows, lots of shows to watch. <laughs> Uh, there's so many shows we have to watch still. Yeah, let's see. I'm I'm getting caught up on Legends right now. I'm all caught up on Arrow and Flash. Nice. Um, really good shows, by the way, guys. Season five I'm, of Arrow. I'm catching up on Supergirl it. finally. You catching up on Supergirl? It's a nice. Rough, not uh, that bad starting. It's rough and tough, I, man. The the coolest part for the early part of season two was the Superman intro. So Legends of Tomorrow. Here's the issue I'm having I, with that show. I I, I like it. The problem I'm having is it. I like some of the characters a lot, but I just am like, okay, I can only see these characters and do without the rest. Like, I'm sorry. A lot some of, of my other problems like, come mm. from things like, all right, remember the, the whole thing with every... Rory in season one, where it's yeah, like saw that coming for four episodes, and then and and yeah, the betrayal and stuff. And, and what's crazy is that um, you have to build have these big threats for each of them. Oh man, I'm catching, catching up, up on, on the office. office. Which nice. one? The, the English one or the British one? I'm sure the English. Well, maybe the British. Who knows? Hey, what's up, Brendan Davidson? Thanks for coming out. Yeah, appreciate it. But yeah, the problem I have is that they have to build up a big enough threat for like pretty much all of them to come in at the end. Right. Which, well, and like, the thing uh, is, the whole first season, it's like Randall Savage was really not Randall Savage. Right. I'm like, Randall they're Savage... chasing him, but like he's not in every single episode even. He's not even fighting them that much for the first No, most half of the season. time he's not even fighting him. I mean, yeah, he just kind of dips out or well, they I, kill to him be in that fair, time Randall Savage, to be fair, Randall Savage doesn't fight people. Yeah. It's not his thing. Uh, he's in, but like, he it's does. like I would have liked to see a little more interaction with the villain. I it's know. not as much. Like, they definitely have a lot and that's, of And that's episodes. why, like, and even everything except for, I gotta catch up on Arrow still starting, but everything else, I'm not gonna lie, I was more, I wasn't all that in, excited about the anyone's most recent seasons like even the flash was good but like arrow I'm disappointed. Just, arrow's at one dude I'm, I'm telling you like 
Oh, are you talking about season two of Supergirl and Legends then? Super, both them and then even season three of Flash, I was like... Season three of Flash could have been a little bit better, but it wasn't I, I just that. It, 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 it was, was good, like, but it's 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 more of the comparison to seasons one and two. Gotcha. It's yeah, so it's two very for me repetitive. Was it it is, but that's floppy. that's but that's how I got with three. Was like, all right, if there was one super great, two almost like a watered down version of one because it's watered very down. similar. Three you got zoom. once again, we're using the speedster. It was like I'm. I was just getting tired. Just, yeah, of yeah you're getting tired of that same villain. I'm, I was getting tired of I, the best thing about it was the overpoweringness of it. But, and I definitely like the reveal, even. I and was then like, that's pretty and we've cool. talked about the long seasons making an impact in like side tangents and too many small villains showing up and leaving. Well, that and that's and I I gotta say this for that Arrowverse. That's how those seasons are. I've just started to pretty much get accustomed to it. I know, like, but they need to recycle these in better in there, in there. That's what season five of Arrow though. That's what it does the best that's out good. of any of them is that. It does lock that villain in. That's really good. I'm, but having said that, like I said, and and here's my other reason why I'm having tough. So because of the lacklusterness from a lot of those, and how well a lot of the comics are doing, specifically DC. Oh, for sure. I Dude, have rebirth so series are amazing. amazing. Every Batman, I basically have quotable material for the memes. Because every, every Batman page is quotable. It, it is and isn't, though. Like, when you go back and read any new 52 Batman, it is not that. Well, much. I was talking about Rebirth. I know, man. I know. But that's my point, is everything in Rebirth is very powerful for... Not every series, obviously, but in the series that are powerful... Every single one is even just, the Green Lantern Corps has some very, very powerful, really good stuff. Like, ha times. and even the oh. regular Green Lanterns. So, I'm reading the Green Lantern Green Lanterns. <sighs> that they one just I'm did having, a, I'm getting it a little is, hard to swallow. It's, it's really hard one. because they're splitting just, between the two characters, yeah. And I'm like, mm, and then they're tying in so much between the past of like Green Lantern. But that was the coolest part of this one is they're going back into the history of Volthoom. Yeah, the good first point. lantern, which is awesome. So it's nice to see have that perspective at least. Because that was the best, probably in my opinion, best part of New Fifty Two is the White Lanterns, Volthoom, and the Lantern Wars. Like mm, the White Lanterns, so, uh, good. so awesome. See, see people, people freaked, freaked out, out because, because the guy who plays Wally West posted a photo of him in red flash pants, thinking he was the new Flash. Law. It turns out nobody notices. Kid Flash on the show has a yellow top and red pants. No one noticed. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so he's putting great. on his regular pants. Yep. I don't know. We kind of. I'm kind of hoping that Wally gets a little bit of time. My thing in the is, suit, to be honest. Well, and like, we gotta is, have we gotta have Barry gone for a little while. That is the that. that is for sure. We talked about the fact that Barry can't be in the next season for a while. Yeah, he's he needs gotta to be wait. gone for a couple of episodes at the least. I would say I would even pin him after. Like pin him back until the end of that first half. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I would right. like that, but I don't see them doing that either. They, he'll make, maybe about he'll four make or alternate five episodes. universe cameos at the very least. Yeah, and and uh, yeah, four or five is probably the best. I, I'd say. Ah man, I would love to see just like maybe like seven to nine episodes, just good quality Wally, and maybe even Barry popping in here and there, but he doesn't. Yeah. Really come back and make a main appearance to like, or that maybe doesn't episode. have his power, yeah, or something, or something. and he's something like helping serious. Wally. I would like Wally to be the focus. I'm bored yeah, with Barry, yeah. and we need a new type of villain. <laughs> he said, "I'm bored with Barry." I agree, man. Sorry, Wally West he's, and this has Barry always is so been watered like, down. He like, is. I just, he's not Barry Allen. I like that much. the Flash, but like the the show. I'm talking the show. I do like it. I I find myself enjoying the episodes, but like I'm just like, oh, this isn't Barry Allen though. He doesn't have that resolve. He doesn't have that very oomph that Barry Most just of them has. Are, every... are on set except Grant Gustin been filming a week or so. That's mm -hmm. good. Okay, so that that's actually nice to hear because yeah. we want a little bit of time away from Grant Gustin. Barry. And even more just... than that, I want time with Wally. Like I said, I Wally has always been my favorite Flash. Always. I I agree with you. It... I mean, he was the Flash for most of a good my life. portion of our lives. Yeah, yeah. most of, most our of lives. it. Up until what, 2009 when Barry came back? Yeah, 2008 or 2009, one of those two. Yep. And the Flash rebirth. Yep. Ooh. And uh, before that, Barry'd been dead since like the 80s, 80s, 89, I believe. Yeah, so before our life, all the way to 2009, so what? Back then we were. It's the se it's like the second longest death in comic book history. Like seven years ago. As far as major characters go. Yeah. Major comic I mean, characters. that was a the long only, time. The only one I think that passes it is currently the death of Captain Marvel. Who uh, 
has been dead Arvel. for like 40 years. Yeah. yeah. And still, in my opinion, strongest death in comic books to date. He hasn't been back. More than that, like, just that we talked about it before, the severity of, like, how he died, you mm -hmm. know, and how relatable it was and how powerful it was for a superhero, like... So those who don't know, Captain Marvel dies of cancer, cancer. which is, it is very unfortunate. There was actually a, uh, the Cap Foundation, which Stephanie was working at at the Comic-Con, mm -hmm. is for children with pediatric cancer. That's awesome, man. Yeah, and so I donated to my, hopefully I'll be able to volunteer with them. Was there a Marvel there? There was not, but my point being that, you know, it's... It's a real problem. Yeah, and, and it's... And, and it's so relatable on that note of... You know, the fact that this character, this powerful, powerful character dies brought of, low. Like, you know, I mean, Captain Marvel was essentially the one be all strongest character, yeah. superhero I mean, he Marvel was very for a powerful. long time. Very, long one, of, time. one of Marvel's greatest. And, like, you know, used to throw blows a, with all of the Avengers at the same time. Yeah, and stuff. like, this guy was nobody to mess with. Like, could dude. fight Thanos one on one. Mm -hmm. Like, like he, he was, was no, he was a bad man at Jim. The most powerful cosmic characters to set foot. In that era of the yeah. comics, the and the only then, people I think even get close are like Quasar and oh man, seriously, and and even then, I mean, you it's even then it's a bit of a gamble, you know. You just never even know with Cap with Marvel. Yeah, Marvel was just so he powerful. defied. He was like Superman is for DC. He was just and so to have him go down to that was like such a powerful move in Marvel. In my opinion, because you can relate to that, that could actually happen. Can't bring him back. Daniel Pennebaker can die is of cancer. To that, so that means yep. you'll kill Frost too. That would be great. I don't Ooh. think we'd see KF till second half. I wouldn't doubt it. I think she's kind of back in the fold. Maybe not heavy in the fold, but she's. Go they're gonna have to follow what's gonna happen to Caitlyn. Can't bring him back. Even superheroes can die of cancer. Exactly my point. Very I relatable. don't like. Maybe for his hundredth year anniversary or some shit, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I, I wouldn't even think they would do that. No, they just well, he's, keep the him. thing is, he's been dead so long now that might as well just keep him. Out. Might as well just keep I mean, him. Out. You know, it's and, and and that was such a powerful move on that part. They want to just make have that, that cemented. Like I yeah, said, now he he currently, there. I'm pretty sure he currently stands as the longest main, running dead main character of a comic. Yep, because Barry will back, maintain so. that as long as he stays dead. Now he's been brought back little little pieces here and there, but not really not to ever last and stay. Nope, never more than than two issues. Yeah, I believe. he just comes back, pops up a second, and then shows how gone. super powerful he was at the time. They have flashbacks and other stuff, but mm -hmm. obviously we've never dabbled in dark magic out of desperation. I mean, not desperation. Wink, wink. No, <laughs> like, Is there a reason they never brought him back? Because it's too powerful. It's a such death. a powerful very, decision, decision yeah. on their part, and such a powerful death. They have to just continue and resolve that. Like they have to keep that. They have to keep that promise, basically, because he did die of such a natural way, like a humane way, that it's relatable to like us. They brought him One so of the most low that relatable became, deaths. Yeah. That we could ever see in comics, so they can't. Like you said, I can't back. relate to it when blah 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 gets shot in the head, or, or somebody explodes, explodes into a yeah. billion pieces because That's of not man really in their body. Like, me, but yeah. when he dies of cancer, then I can kind of attribute that. Like I said, it's it's powerful, it's relatable, fantastic, it, it's fantastic. I, I and if you read that issue, which by the way they're doing a, a homage to that for the death of the mighty Thor. Ooh. Yeah, you check out the cover. It looks awesome. It's a definite homage. And people. Keep claiming it's a homage to the death of Superman, which is like twenty years after the death of, or they 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 make it about the Infinite Crisis pose where he's holding Supergirl. Yeah, which is predated by the Marvel uh, Captain Marvel death by like twenty years or something. Hi, Lachlan, welcome to the thing. Yeah, there's yeah. that one, and then such a nice old school cover. Jeez, these ads, man. It takes up three fourths of the page. Sheesh. Not even that anymore. There, it's it's such. Oh, yeah, yeah, they have hollow covers. All of these. Yeah. There's Death of the Mighty Thor, which is almost an exact uh, remake of the Jim Stalin uh, death Beautiful. of Captain Marvel, and and she dies of cancer. Uh yeah, she is dying of cancer as well, which will make her the most recent. Uh, mm -hmm. Would it be like the cancer is a real life thing, and it just shows when you die, you stay dead in real life? Yeah. Yep. It's very that's much a good depiction. That's a good way yeah. to put it, man. It, that's and it just exactly stays relatable. Like I said, that the people talked about it in one of the comics to Hawkeye. They were complaining to him. They're like, you know, death isn't real for you guys. You, you guys come back all the time. 
you know, you could die tomorrow and come back in a month. But when we die, it's forever. No one's going to bring back my grandma who died of liver disease right. or whatever. And, and it's, it's like so sad to yeah. think about, but it's true. Yep. You know, people who are important to the timeline are going to get brought back. But although I like Hawkeye's response, he's like, "Have you ever died before? How'd you like to do that more than <laughs> once?" And I was like, "Yeah, no, Hawkeye, maybe it's not all." Like, it's, yeah. like he always gets a nice spin. Thank you for the like, Lock. Thank you. We appreciate Thank it you. so much. Thank you and the love and, as and well. And for everybody who came in uh, earlier, Governor and Shauna. We would think thanks again if they're still watching for tuning in. We appreciate you so yeah, much. Thank and we you want to send people much. your way to the Gung Ho Games Network <laughs> and to SEM Designs. Check them out. Check them out. Big shout same out with, to everybody. Same with here. the Reading Verse. Same with uh, you know and Scott and Stylin and Stylin Online. Uh, they are doing very well. Stylin Online has been running for 15 years. Met the guy who runs it uh, at the con and very very good guy. Um, he does all this and puts a little bit of, to charity and. The best part is, guys, when he comes to Denver Comic Con, he loads up. And not just him. Everybody else does such a good job at our cons. This community is booming, guys. Let's keep it growing. What do you think of Jane Foster dying? I'm okay I'm with, with it, it because it's a very natural progression. Yeah. If she and doesn't she die, the I'm cancer also okay with before it. Before the Thor But I think anyway. they need to make it powerful and effective in a way. You know what I mean? It can't For be kids, light. too. They didn't want them to think a real-life killer or life cancer can be can come back from when you die. False hope and all that. Oh, yeah. yeah. that's There's a lot of stuff. Yep. But, uh... Yeah, for Jane Foster, it, I, it's tough because I like Jane Foster, and by no means do I not like her as the Thor or any of that makes. The I name. do, yeah. The the I like the. I thought you know, it was a decent Thors. run. I thought there were good ideas. But, There's uh, and honestly, the run as far as art goes is some of the greatest I've ever it is, seen. But man, I I just I'm okay with you know Thor. I need back. yeah. I need I like, need, I need the Thor. Thor did back. you check out the uh, the? I can't remember what issue it's in or where it's in one of the Secret Wars ones maybe, but they show War Thor, the birth of War Thor. I think you sent me that one actually. Yep. I might have sent it, but yeah, it's super awesome. So you get to see who another Thor is. He picks up the ultimate Thor hammer from the Ultimate Universe, and uh, he I think he is, probably, yes, he's ready for yeah, it. Yeah, he is not about to slack. No, he was not all. happy. He was not a happy camper. Oh, sweet! I know this guy. Nice. That's awesome. Pretty cool dude. But yeah, man, I mean, what else did you guys think about Denver Comic Con? Did you go? Have you been to your local Comic Con recently? Yeah, please tell Let us, us what you think. Tell us about it. Help us move the conversation. We, yeah, you know, yeah. We've covered a lot of stuff on our con, and there's obviously more we can cover. You know, there's we bought pops, and we bought... I got this mystery box, which is supposed to have $100 of content. Secret right? Empire 5, what you think? Oh, man... I liked it better than the other ones because a lot of the interactions were more real and meaningful, like between Namor and Cap and a bunch of other stuff. Still Having said that, it was on. the lightest one. It's like, ah. And Still the whole secret on. the whole secret universe sucks right now, dude. Like, the Secret Empire well, run. Yeah, I hear. Like, and I just don't I'm, need to. Even the stuff I like is just, like, all shitty. It's like the world's... It's like an alternate dystopian universe, and I, I hate to involve it. myself in that. <laughs> Speaking like, of Thor like I said, comics, I know a lot of people who are not happy in that. That I know nothing of. I rewatched The Dark World, and it's not half as bad as I originally thought. Could have been darker with less humor. Would have been, been so, so much, much better. better. Yeah, <laughs> they put too much into trying to maintain the Marvel... The fluff. The fluff. I didn't mean to say dinner, LMAO. Well, no worries. No worries, man. Just trying to think of like either way. Uh, but no, yeah, you know, there's a lots going on like that, and it, it, they could have done better with that. I think for a lot of the Thor stuff. So many pops. Yeah. So there's actually a, a really good pop dealer at the con who was doing two for ten pops, yeah. and I happened to get this Ken from Street Fighter and Kanan. From Star Wars Rebels. If you haven't checked out Rebels, guys, definitely check it out. It's such a good uh, Star Wars series. Definitely. It was made intentionally for children, but it's starting to get more mature. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, uh, and then I rest. think I picked up 
a Lee Sin from League of Legends and a yep. BA Baracus from the A team. So those were my ones from Sweet that. Baracus. Point. I, and we wa It's so funny. I I kind of got my bearings of con, but I could not find this place until we were on our way out, and I was just like, Oh, oh the, the pops guy. Yeah, yeah. We're like but he had him. great deals and he had good pops. Yes. Now they were there. Were, a lot of them were the same, but they were good pops. Like, yes, I they mean, were. This is a good pop to just pop up at con for five bucks. Yeah. The Kanan jars. Like there yeah, were a lot of definitely. them. And the thing was, you weren't gonna find any rare. No, super like crazy some guy came. Up and he was like, "Do you have Zoom? Nah, like, no. You're not gonna. Find you weren't gonna find anything you were looking for, right, there, but right. you would find something worth having, and that was the point. Chocolate Boo. Oh, I didn't get one, but I was thinking it's was that just, an exclusive. It was an exclusive. It. it was a twenty dollar exclusive though, That's and I'm just like, I'm just not trying to pay that for the pop. Yeah, especially for that one. I'm like, oh, and I love that one. The, did you see the uh, the most recent one, the mm -hmm. bullseye? Bullseye claims that Batman hits even harder than Daredevil. He does. So dope. It's a great one. I love that. Just like <laughs> knocked him up. It's like boom. Knocked him up, man. Oh yeah, he he messes him up. To be fair, he had like a knife. As I said before, throat. pops here between twenty to thirty pounds. Too expensive for me. Maybe a flash one would entice me. Yeah, that's yeah, the I'm other sure thing. Some flash well, and that's what too. my friend said. The most, or uh, Scott said, the most expensive one he would pay for was like a hundred bucks for a very specific one. He said he was really not liking even spending that sometimes. And I was like, bucks. Ooh, couldn't do it, man. This is too much for me, man. And like I said, I sp I have a hard time already buying them because. I'm a collector, so I don't get to actually get out my pops, and I leave them in the box, and I. This is a collector too. I just like to give oh, them I know. some air and breath. Oh, I know. I'm I'm what like I said for when I and that's the only one I do it on. I, I some of the older like valuable ones that have you know real monetary. Like I had a couple Spawn collectibles that I kept nice. boxed up that's from awesome. the original movie. Run my most 90s, valuable but... pop is a Green Goblin chase figure. Here I got you. It's. Kind of 50 bucks now, I think. Nice. Sweet. Euros, not pounds, Leo Lull. I really want to see how Secret Empire is setting up for Marvel Legacy. I kind of seen some hints of that with the Time Machine and Secret Empire 5. Yeah, which, you know, you and with the whole time movement thing, you kind of saw it coming anyway. Hmm. Although I'm, I am I just don't want to see how it goes. Like, I'm, right now, I'm not happy with where it's at necessarily. There's, like, things that are okay. But for the most part, Empire. it was just like, it's like watching an Injustice rip almost with Cap being Superman, so it's even less realistic. I just can't get into Secret Empire, man. I'm just like, eh, I'll wait for it to get wait some for it good to, And maybe in. if it gets yeah. some good stuff and I can shoot you some issues, but like, so far... So far, mm, I'm not buying any consensus. of them. No. No. See? Then it's not worth it. Like, I even bought IVX, and no, no one liked that, I guess. Not worth reading yet. Running out of room, got like a hundred pops. Oh wow! Hey, Just take a Kevin, picture of your that's collection. awesome. Yeah, take a picture. Leo runs us. a uh, contest every week where he uh, displays that on his Instagram. Yes, Blurred please, blocks, so you please. should check that. Check it out. I really had to stop buying pops because it started getting bad. Yeah, Izzy has told me that it gets uh, bad. That like, between those and comics, that it because he has to watch himself. I have to do it on a lot of stuff. Yeah, because the pops are expensive, man. They are. It's like, oh, and you, even you pop up on an exclusive? Uh, so I tried oh, to, I, shoot. Here we go. I, we'll do some more showing off. I tried to save some money, guys, by doing the mystery box. $40 for $100 worth of stuff. And it this is the box. Worth. No. And so they were sold out by the time Leo got there, which might be a good thing. So let's check this guy. Let's check this out, guys. Yep. You this guys tell box me. here. There's one thing that's not I in there. I looked in. I was like, eh. Yeah, explain the thing that's not in there. Well, the thing that's not in there that's nice is a little figure from Japan that's like a Frieza about this big that has the bottom stand with the extending hook. And so he rises off his platform with, her, with his death ball. And that's a good one. Yeah, but it's still probably only worth like 10 bucks. Maybe. Another one of the best ones, the 8-bit pistol. Oh, yeah, which I'm going to pop that baby out. That one, this is going to be my new gun for podcasts <laughs> yeah, and pawns and everything. Yeah, awesome, isn't it? If this one's actually worth it. We're going to open this one up and show you guys, like, pawn opening, box opening. Oh, my God, we're doing a stream of a box opening. That's actually oh, not bad, man. the feel. Yeah, the, that's real firm. This is a nice, it's not going to break. It's got a good side presence. Like, the fur presence not bad either, but the, any any kind that of angle, one? it looks ah, like a nice angle right there. <laughs> I got the Star Wars mystery box. How was that? How was How that? I, the the I problem really with this those. mystery box was it's like Pokemon, I guess, which maybe that yeah, was the other thing. Yeah, here's a Digimon figure. <laughs> Greymon. And then a Pokedex. 
what is it, a Pokemon X and Y. Yep, from the Kalos region. Pretty So cool that's probably stuff. 20, 20 bucks, maybe 30. Yeah, 20, 30. I'd say 20. Yeah, 20. I'd say 20 at my high. Yeah. This is maybe five bucks. <laughs> you got Chansey and Clefairy. I actually, so what are these? Let me, I'm going to pop these open just to see what it is. Yeah, like, because I can't. Like a little coin purse? Yeah, it looks like it might be a coin purse of some kind, which might then be more interesting but less usable for me. I don't know how to open this. I guess I just gotta open it. Yep. Like okay. It's alright. We might be sending some of these out. It's a pee pee. P I P P I. Mine says lucky on top. What What the hell? Pippy? Pippy? Pippy. What? Alright, <laughs> so they have a little box in them, but I don't know what they go to. I don't, Does I, anyone know what these do? What, what are they? I've been buying all Secret and Parallel. <laughs> I just like the story. I I, I like, applaud it's, you. It's I just have I I can't even get that out. Like okay, I can't get that out. But what in the world? What is this for? Wait, then there's another. There's like a square in here that's like. Look, you can get it out, but it contain it. It holds it in there. Well, no, I like it. Th like this. So here, I got this one out. What? But like. What does it go on? Is it... I don't understand. Okay, I'm confused! Cool. Is it... Does it close? Does it... I think it's supposed to have the little piece in there, bro. I think it might... flatten it out to make it kind of like... So solid. it just sit... It's. I guess it's just so a keychain. So it just sits up. <laughs> I think it's just like Very a keychain. Yeah, they're really what weird. What do you guys think? Probably worth uh, a dollar a piece. Loot crate and the likes. Okay, so I'll give you a full breakdown yeah, of that. Yeah, he I've actually has an article have a, on that, don't I you? have a subscription to... Nope, I don't yet. I'm going to do a comparison video. Um, R2 cookie jar that makes a sound. Darth Vader pizza slicer. Silicone mold of AT-AT and Star Destroyer. Yoda plushie. Wow. Papercraft Darth Vader and a 40th anniversary Star Wars pin. I think that that's it. That sounds awesome. That's pretty great, though. Let's see. There's a lot of these little figures on there, too. Does so anyone these... know what these are? Like, should we... We could probably look them up, right? These? I have no idea what this those, is, Those, but I mean like the a... other thing, too. Like, those... What, like, what character... What is show is that from? What, is, what does it say? Mona... Uh, oh, I, these are Pokemon, dude. Are they Pokemon? But then yeah, what this is, is a Pokemon? Name? Okay, so they are Pokemon, but I don't know what the company name <laughs> is that's on the top. Oh, Moncole? Is that what Pokemon is? Some old cheap company, y'all. Moncole. <laughs> I'm so late. What's up, DH? Just unraveling just... some uh, stuff from Comic Con. Let's see. Who likes Pokemon stuff? <laughs> Guy from Invaders in. Okay, it's a community driven Pokemon monster collection figure thing. Yeah. So. It, it, that's exactly what it looks like a little monster figure. Not bad, though. Not too bad. There's a lot of them in here. Pew, pew. <laughs> Destroyed. Fainted. <laughs> Bang. Man, them Pokemon original creators wanted to kill these Pokemon off, and then they had to censor for the kids. <laughs> Fainted. <laughs> Fades. A sweet Bulbasaur sticker. That is cool. There were some cool stickers, this actually. dope. You don't want that, man. I will take it. And then the Frieza one. I don't know, man. I'm a sticker guy. You can have yeah. it if you want, though. Nah, you the sticker guy. You like... I actually have a few of these. You know, we can probably on pop Titan. one of those open, right? What, what's in there? Here's a Mario one. All right, we'll open this one. This one looks like a backpack clipper, so... Ooh, sweet. Clip it on the backpack! Pack opening, mine two sides. Anyone... Elsa's stream fishing and freezing. Oh shoot! Mine two sides. I'm forgetting the My name. Chansey. That's the Pokemon from the Poké Center. Yes, that yeah, is Chansey. Yeah, we, we know that's Chansey. It's Chansey, and the then we have is. what is this? Fairy. Fairy? Yeah. yeah. We don't know what it is. Well, Look. we were wondering if that might be Clefable. I don't think so. Though. No, it actually what? is Clefable. You're right. No, the wings. Clefable has wings. Right? Donkey Kong. There it's you a go. Good Donkey man. Kong too. Actually, this Very one's probably worth like figure. five bucks. So wow. this one's actually better than the... I mean, it's a $40 so crate, maybe man. It's, it is. So I probably got my $40, but it was supposed to have $100 worth of stuff in. Yeah, they You guys be more. the judge if there was $100 worth of stuff in there. Nice. Donkey Kong!
If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar.